Hello, this is the property tank sister. Welcome to our BTO. As you can see, it's bright and airy and full of features. Okay, la. <laughs> I'm not property tank sister. I'm just a designer, okay? I'm very proud of this place. Let me show you all the tour. So this feature wall has this very cool bear and rabbit, right? What happens is we actually laser cut out all these shapes so that there's a dent inside. The dent is for us to patch the grass in, also cut to shape. So this whole thing it was very tediously done. More importantly, right, there's this nice light that comes on just like that. Ah, but actually it's fake one, no? <laughs> Somebody is pressing the light for me. <laughs> It's not motion sensor nor detect. Yeah, so but the thing is, you know, it's a very nice feature. So when it's at night, right, this whole thing lights up very nicely. Okay, so this is generally the shoe wearing area where we have a bench and also a simple shoe cabinet where I wanted to tie in the shapes um, concept. So we bought all these round shapes to serve as the handle. As you can see, a simple shoe cabinet, no frills but we still tie in the look. So all this, right, I wanted to also dress up the space so that it won't be so boring. For the living room, we're keeping it very simple, but at the same time, we are putting a lot of details into the color coordination, shapes, and also material use. Example, this TV console, right? The door, we choose to use wire mesh to add the whole design touch. So in terms of opening, it's just like that, right? But then it makes a difference in terms of using um, more unique material. For the choice of sofa and rug, we also pay a lot of attention to color coordination as well as shape coordination. So you can see the brown tan leather part, it matches very nicely with this hexagonal shaped uh, rug, which is actually made of cowhide, if you can see. So these are the little, little luxurious touches here and there. Of course, my client uh, felt it was a bit expensive, but to me, it ties the whole space together very nicely. So, some things you cannot save, okay? So, for this feature wall, there's a long story behind. Long story short is, halfway throughout the project, right, my client dropped me a big bomb and said, actually, he wants to display his bike. And then, but we're doing Scandi, ma. I'm like, uh, Scandi, and then the bike is like so racer bike, right? How to tie in? So, the whole thing, I decided to make it into a feature wall to feature their life motto, which is this like in general. So then everything else needs to come together to portray this whole philosophy. Hence, I make it into such that the, the bicycle looks like it's carrying a basket and then everything is on green pasture. Fits nicely into the bear and rabbit theme and everything is more cohesive. So if you think this one is just bicycle only, right? It's not. So my client actually writes this thing and then when he doesn't write right, he will just put it back and secure it nicely. So it's a detachable feature. And this is the dining area. Instead of having a normal dining area, right, the boring one with photo wall and all that, I came up with this idea of using breadboards to convey the message nom nom nom, you know, eating nom nom nom. Yeah, so it's a very nice uh, design feature, I feel, um, that nicely accentuate the dining table. Also, my client is particular about having good flow throughout the house. Hence, we kept the dining table away from the dining wall so that there's good traffic flow and you can walk around freely. So this is something that he values a lot, which I need to respect. This is our very cute kitchen where we have very nice dusty blue laminate paired with white laminate. Because my client actually wanted the entire thing blue, but I say no lie, you know, it's nicer to be uh, two-toned. And also, we have very nice round handles to play off, so that the shape concept is consistent throughout the whole place. More importantly, is this very nice backsplash, where we have like pseudo cross shape. And then this cross shape thingy, right, lends a graphic touch. And my client also very effort. She actually matched it with <laughs> her Flora. So all these right, little, little touches all come together to make this whole place very cohesive. We changed out this whole uh, sliding door. It used to be very ugly HDB type. 
And now, the yard area is also very stylishly, but simply put, lah, a concerted effort to pull everything together. And this is my client's study. As you can see, it's very minimally furnished because we want them to work efficiently, right? But it doesn't mean it has to be boring. So, for this niche, I thought we can play it up. We painted it black. And remember the shapes that we cut out from the bear and rabbit outside? Ah, the shapes found their way back into this wall. Then we piece, piece, piece everything together to form back the bear and the rabbit, but in reverse. So I thought that's a nice visual play. And uh, it doesn't cost much. Literally nothing. Okay, and then all we need to do is to put a very nice shelf here. Nice decor stuff. And these are his very prized possessions. Nice sound equipment, vintage camera, and the rest are all significant of his own personality, like things that he does for leisure. So as you can see, minimal doesn't mean as be boring. And Scandi is all about that. And this is our walk-in wardrobe. Most people will like walk-in wardrobe to be adjoining to the bedroom, which means it's an extra cost. But if you still want it without having to hack any walls, just have it a normal bedroom, but make it into a walk-in wardrobe. It's still walk-in. Just where you walk from only, right? We kept it very simple, really very simple. It's a whole stretch of cabinets. And all we do is have all this consistency in the material. So, and shapes. Again, very simple. So, it's a matter of um, really dressing it up with your accessories, like mirror and plants. And again, that's it. Of course, with poof, you know, and rub. It's a matter of strategy and how you do it cleverly, that's it. And this is our very chill, common bathroom. As you can see, this is our zhong dian. Because usually, right, for BTOs, they will have all the pipes inside. Ma, and then, most homeowners will clear it up or box it up. But then, I choose this very smart method to clear it onto the mesh. So that, voila, you have the scanty feel minus the very expensive cost. Then, of course, it's down to all the material choices. We have nice white subway tiles, played against very nice graphic tiles. Everything is very nice. Then, <laughs> the cabinets, right? We also chose light wood against standy. And remember, I told you all, shapes, shapes, shapes. Hence, we use bow shapes for the handle. Yeah, this is my interpretation of a Scandi quirky toilet. And this is our super cozy, super minimalistic master bedroom. We kept it very simple because the main point should be a comfortable place where you can relax and chill out and then fall asleep. So, we only painted the walls half tone and then buy a nice bed, have all these decor accessories to make it cozy and that's it. But then this part, right, is our dressing table. Again, we are keeping it simple but then the details are in the design. So, this is a very graphic touch to make the whole space more stylized, per se. And then you take a look at this. This is our attempt to infuse design with functionality. This is actually a hook. But of course, I told my client, if you can, then don't hook things down, you know? <laughs> the woods are so nice already, no point covering it up, right? But then it's a very nice touch. And this is our very dark and stylish master bedroom toilet. Why is it black? because we wanted to contrast nicely with the common toilet, which is white base. And also because the mister of the household is using this toilet while she uses the other toilet. So we wanted it to reflect the personality of the owner. Main thing is, we, the details are always in the handles and our choice of laminate. So this dark laminate goes nicely with this whole dark environment. Also, we bought round mirror that's attached by this metal thingy to again tie in with the whole ship's concept, right? And then basically, right, everything is dark. And then we break it up with nice greenery. And that marks the end of my property tank sister tour. <laughs> if you want to buy this house, ah, sorry, it's not for sale, okay? Because my clients love it so much, they will never sell. Okay, not never, lah, they will eventually sell. Lah. But you have to wait long, long, lah, right? So if you like my video, Please do remember to subscribe because I have many, many, many of similar house tours. And actually, if you take a look, right, you can see a Scandi tour somewhere there, but it's executed differently. So as you can see, Scandi doesn't mean it has to be boring, okay? 
Again, so many ways to do it. Subscribe, subscribe, then you will know what I'm talking about, okay? Peace, bye.